A public health expert, J. Samuels, has expressed deep concerns over the disregard for physical distancing and other health protocols as Nigeria tries to get a grip of COVID-19. Speaking exclusively to STV News 24, he said though some of the protocols like wearing of face masks and physical distancing are difficult to practice, Nigerians must realize that this is a sacrifice they must make in order to stay healthy. Shagun Jomo reports. This video sent alarm bells ringing across the nation on the day the phase easing of the lockdown on Lagos, Ogun and the FCT began. The sort of scene was replicated in other areas across the nation. There was total disregard for physical distancing rules. Such scenes have led to warnings there could be another total lockdown on the horizon. But it is not just members of the presidential task force on COVID-19 that are worried. Public health experts like Jay Samuels are equally worried by the fact that many Nigerians don't want to make the personal sacrifices that are needed to fight COVID-19. It's very easy to say, oh, you wear face masks or whatever, whatever. But we also like to let people know that wearing face masks is not that simple. It's not that easy. It's inconveniencing. We are washing hands with soap and water every now and then. It is not easy. Those kind of things that needs to be drummed into people's ears. Nigeria, an all dependent economy, has been hit at its core due to the crisis. There are those who want restrictions on movement and businesses eased faster and there are those who want science to lead the way. There are no easy choices. Before the lockdown was eased and after the lockdown you now see the thing taking up again, then you cannot say, oh, uh, let's go back to lockdown. But for, for us as a country, it will be difficult for us to make that decision. I think we might have to, go, have to find a way to live with it because we don't seem to have the capacity to contain it. The numbers of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria keep going up as testing capacity is increased. This makes it difficult to say when the country will be fully reopened for business. But if the new spikes in COVID-19 cases in South Korea, Germany and elsewhere are anything to go by, then caution has to be the word. Shegu Jumu, Silverbird News 24.